Spoke your toad, everyone. Good morning. It's so good to see all your smiling faces. If you want to put in the chat box who you are and who's joining us this morning, I'd love to say Boca Grove. I'd love to say good morning to you. Good morning, Jordan and Riley. Boca your toad, Flair. Hi, Jake. Good morning, Hannah. Hi, Emily and Samantha. Boker Tov, Braden. Shalom, Anna and Brooke. Good morning, Gabriel. Boker Tov, Elijah. Good morning, Jacob. Hi, Danielle and Jenna. Good morning, Ayla. Boker Tov to everyone. Boker Tov. Good morning, Asher. Great. Well, you can keep filling in your names and I'll keep saying good morning, but let's begin with our good morning song. Oh, I have one more before I start. Good morning, Mia. Everybody ready? Let's get ready to sing and good morning, Hayden. Do, 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 Tov means good, Boker means morning. Tov means good, Boker means morning. Everybody clap your hands, good morning. Boker Tov, good morning. Have a great day. Shalom, Haverim. Hello, my friends. Shalom, Haverim. Hello, my friends. Shalom means hello. Haverim means friends. Shalom means hello. Haverim means friends. Everybody clap your hands. Good morning. Boker Tov. Good morning. Have a great day. Do 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 Good morning. Boker Tov, everyone. We have a few more hellos. Boker Tov to Hayden. Good morning to Bree Bree. Boker Tov to Vanessa and Dylan. And good morning, Oliver. So <clears throat> today we have something that we are going to be celebrating once again, because next week there is something that is having a very special birthday. And you'll never guess what is having a birthday next week. It is Israel. Israel's birthday is coming up next week. And so every year we celebrate. Sometimes we celebrate with parades. Sometimes we make Israeli flags. So today we're going to begin that celebration. And what I wanted to do to begin that celebration is I want to sing happy birthday to Israel. So first we're going to sing happy birthday in English. And then we're going to sing happy birthday in Hebrew all to Israel because it's the Jewish state's birthday. Everybody ready? 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Israel. Happy birthday to you. Yay! And now we're going to do it in Hebrew. So when we sing happy birthday, I know a lot of you know that this already, but as a reminder, we say Yom Huledet Sameach, which is happy birthday. Ready? Yom Huledet Sameach, Yom Huledet Sameach, Yom Huledet Sameach, Yom Huledet Sameach. Happy birthday, Israel. So what I brought today so we could celebrate Israel is a book all about Israel. Now, this book is about a little girl who moves to Israel. And when you move to Israel and you stay there permanently, it's called making Aliyah. Can everyone try saying that with me? Aliyah. Ready? One, two, three. Aliyah. So she makes Aliyah and she moves to Israel, but her grandmother stays here in America. So let's hear what happens. And very appropriately, the book is called First Rain, because if we look at the window, it's a little rainy here today also. Abby was in tears. Her mother and father were in tears, and so was her grandmother. They were at the airport where Abby and her parents would soon be flying off to Israel, a country where they had always dreamed of living. I wish you were coming, said Abby. I wish you were staying here, said her grandma. Israel is so far away. Even the day is sad, sad that you're leaving. It's been raining all morning. Grandma took an envelope out of her purse and handed it to Abby. A plain letter, she said. Something for you to read when you're up in the air. There were hugs and kisses and all too soon, they said their goodbyes and grandma went home alone. And here they are on the airplane. Holding the leather letter tightly, Abby boarded the plane with her parents. The plane was huge and packed with people, all of them going to live in Israel. She sat down and placed Fufu Monkey next to her. There you see her little special stuffed animal, her Fufu Monkey. Then she looked out the window at the pouring rain. Rain she would not see again all summer since it didn't really rain in Israel in summertime. And she thought about grandma. When would she see her again? When the plane was up in the air, Abby read the letter her grandmother had left her. Dear Abby, you are off on a brand new adventure. You'll meet new people and see new places and you'll learn to speak Hebrew, the language of Israel. So far, I know just one Hebrew word, and this is actually a Hebrew word all of you guys know also. Her grandma knows the word shalom. That word means hello, goodbye, and peace. I wish you a safe and happy trip. I'll miss you very much, but I'll keep you in my heart always. Love, Grandma. Meanwhile, Grandma returned to her apartment. It had never felt so quiet, and she found a letter from Abby. Dear Grandma, I'm very excited about moving to Israel, but I feel sad about leaving you. I'm taking Fufu Monkey on the plane. Thank you for making him for me. He's my most favorite animal. He'll sit, ne sit next to me all the way to Israel, and we'll both think about you all the way there. Please come visit us soon. Love, Abby. Do you see? A lot of people are holding that special flag with the Jewish star on it and the blue stripes. And that is the flag of Israel. After her long flight, Abby's Israel adventure began. She and her parents finally arrived at Ben Gurion Airport near Tel Aviv. Abby was surprised by the cheering crowds who came to greet them. 
Hebrew music was playing and Israeli flags were waving. People were laughing and hugging. Abby found herself laughing along with them. Later at her new house, Abby made her first phone call from Israel. Hi, Grandma, we're here. And guess what? I think the whole country of Israel came to the airport to greet us. And we have so many wonderful things in our yard. A pomegranate tree. And you know what else? We have an olive tree. And we just had an Israeli breakfast of cheese and vegetables. In Israel, they don't eat pancakes and cereal like we eat here for breakfast. They have cheese and vegetables. Hi, said Grandma. It's so wonderful to hear you. It's so silly that you had breakfast and I'm getting ready to go to sleep. Have a good night, Grandma, said Abby. Have a good day, Grandma said. Love you. Over the next weeks, Abby and Grandma spoke on the phone and sent letters and emails back and forth. Abby wrote about her trip to Israel and visiting this special wall called the Kotel. It was amazing, Grandma. I actually touched the wall that once surrounded the ancient temple. It's over 2,000 years old. We also went on a teul. That's Hebrew for a hike. And then we went to the shuk. That's Hebrew for the marketplace. There were crowds of shouting people buying and selling fruits and vegetables and nuts and spices and candy. I've never seen so many colors and smelled so many different smells in one place. One day, a package arrived for Grandma. It was from the Dead Sea. It had a letter in it. We took a trip to the Dead Sea. Guess what? You can't sink. In the, in the Dead Sea, there's too much salt. I even saw a man floating on his back reading a book. It was really funny. Just before we left the Dead Sea, I bought a jar and I filled it with mud for you. Dead Sea mud is supposed to be good for your skin. I hope you enjoy it. Love, Abby. Abby sent Grandma pictures of them riding camels and Grandma sent her a photo covered in the mud from the Dead Sea. One day, Abby called her grandma and she said, Hi, Safta. Safta, said grandma. Yeah, that's Hebrew for grandma. Oh, good, said grandma. Now I know even more Hebrew words. I'm happy things are working out so well for you. Grandma, remember how on rainy days we used to put on our yellow slickers and our boots and then we take our umbrellas out and splash into the puddles? We look like two yellow ducks. Abby burst out laughing, remembering, and Grandma laughed too. Who else likes to jump in the puddles with their boots? I do. Today's a good day for that, right? The long summer days have come to an end, and Abby went to her first day of school, where she met lots of new friends and learned lots of new Hebrew words. Then early one morning, Abby woke up to a strange sound. Ping, ping, ping on the roof of her house. Could it be? She ran to the window and yes, 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 it was raining the first rain. Abby hurried to get dressed in her special yellow jacket and grabbed her umbrella. And when she opened the door, there was Grandma. They gave each other big hugs and cried and laughed at the same time. And then the two yellow ducks went out into the rain. So we got to see all different parts of Israel. Got to see the city, Jerusalem, and the special wall where we go to pray to God. We got to see the Dead Sea where you can float and read a book and not sink. We got to see also how Israel is nighttime when we're daytime and daytime when we're nighttime. Now in Israel, it's actually afternoon time. So we're just in the morning, but they're in the afternoon time. So I wanted each of you to think about something that you would do when you were in Israel. When you go to Israel, you visit a special wall. And we heard from Abby that the wall is over 2,000 years old. And when we go to that wall, we put in special prayers or wishes into the wall what we want to say to God. 
what we want to pray to God. If we want to pray for somebody who's sick to get better, if we want to pray for our family to all be together again soon, if we want to make sure that our family stays healthy, that people all over the world are safe, whatever prayers we want to say. So I'm going to ask you, with your parents or adults you're with right now, if you want to write in our chat books, but chat box, excuse me, something that you would pray for at the hotel at the wall. What is something that you really, your heart really, really wants and something you want to say to God? And while you guys are writing those, I didn't, don't think I had a chance to say good morning to Maya and Carly and Henry. So what are your prayers? Share your prayers with us. I pray that everybody stays healthy and safe. Who else has a prayer? That is very sweet. Elijah loves everyone. And that's a wonderful thing that we have people who care about us and love us. That's perfect. I, Talia prays that her family stays healthy. Thank you, Talia. That is a beautiful prayer. Thank you. We have, oh, somebody is hoping that their Mima, Monica, I hope my Mima feels better. That is such a nice prayer. Thank you. I hope so too. I pray that my sister will never be mad at me. That's a wonderful prayer, Gabriel. I know it's hard sometimes when we get upset with our brothers or our sisters and it doesn't feel good when they're upset with us, but it's okay. We're spending a lot of time together. So sometimes we're going to feel that way. And what's wonderful is that we can give our brothers and sisters big hugs and say, we're sorry and we love you. And that makes it feel a lot better, even when we're feeling frustrated. Any other prayers that anybody wants to share? Prayers that you would put in the wall in Israel to say to God? Well, you guys can you missed Henry's. He had one in the chat box right above Gabriel. Thank you. I missed Henry's. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you very much, Mary. I pray that everyone has food. Henry, that is so beautiful. That is such a wonderful thought that we can get food for everybody and so everybody has enough to eat. And just like you guys got to do during the year when you were at the JCC in school. A lot of your classes brought food to the food pantry to help people who don't have enough money to get food. And we can still do that. There's actually a box outside the JCC. So if your family gets some food and they have enough to share, you can donate it at the JCC so everybody has food. Henry, that was a beautiful prayer. Thank you. That was a really, really special one. Samantha and Emily say, we pray that this will go away and we can enjoy our time at school again. Emily and Samantha, I think a lot of people are feeling the way that you're feeling right now, that they want to be back at school with their regular day and get to see their friends and their teachers. I pray that will happen soon, too. I know that will feel really nice to give our friends hugs again. And Elijah, sending your messages of love to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Elijah. So you guys can think, keep thinking about the prayers that you want to say and things that you hope for now. And as you can see, the one thing that one person prays for is often something that you feel and you pray for also. So we are going to continue to celebrate Israel next week since it's Israel's birthday coming up next week. So we'll have some more chance to talk all about Israel and all the wonderful things that we find in the Jewish state. So we say happy birthday to Israel, Yom Huledet Sameach, and we are going to sing our goodbye song. So I want everyone to get their hands up so we can say shalom, just like we heard in the book, right? It means hello, goodbye, and peace. So now we're going to be using it for goodbye. Shalom Haverim, shalom Haverim. Shalom Haverim, Shalom. Goodbye to my friends, 
Goodbye to my friends. Goodbye to my friends. Goodbye. Shalom Habirim. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you for celebrating Israel with me today. And I can't wait to see you next week to do it all over again. Shalom Habirim. Goodbye, my friends.